Hello everybody, Rope Fox here, and welcome back to another episode of Truly Bedrock Season 2. This is episode 16, I almost forgot what episode this was. We are in episode 16, and in the last episode, we finished working on some automatic farms over in our, not sure what to call it yet, the nursery area, green area, farm area, uh, what's, what's the fancy word, is it like hydroponics or something, does that apply, <laughs> does that apply to this, but anyways, we finished working on these farms here, well this one was done, we have an automatic sugarcane farm, we have ourselves an automatic pumpkin and melon farm, and of course every time I want to show it to you, nothing wants to grow, but you can see how this is working, this was all made in the last episode, and of course, we made our automatic honey farm over here, and we spent a good amount of time trying to troubleshoot this, but we finally came up with the solution. We found out that in order for the hopper to collect what's coming out of the beehives, we actually needed to place the hoppers right underneath. So, oh wow. Okay, I feel like I just emptied this. You can see I do have 24 honey blocks down below, but man, that has filled up that has filled up pretty quick and that's because I've been hanging out over in the base area or at Fox Tech because we do have an official name to this place I've been hanging out over at Fox Tech for the past hour or so because I have been smelting a bunch of things for today's project what is this I see a beacon here I also see that my beacon is not going up into the air. What in the world is going on? Radiation free beacons? Hmm. One beacon, two diamonds. Interesting. Not sure how you plan on selling beacons right next to me for two diamonds when I'm selling mine for a diamond. Ah. Okay. So, I'm going to assume that whoever put this shop up next to mine bought out the rest of my beacons and is trying to resell them for double, I guess. I mean, that's fine. We made another 81 diamonds off of that. And they're trying to sell it for two, thankfully. And this is why I'm here. We do have more beacons, so let's go ahead and just replace those just like that. And we'll go ahead and leave nine. We'll let them think that we're, we're a little low on beacons because we did have two rows. I don't know if this is going to sell out again and then end up over here. I'm not quite sure. But what in the world is going on? This definitely has to be related. Radiation-free beacons because a couple episodes ago we took a look at this book with the tinfoil hats. Talking about the radiation and the zombies. And what is this? Radiation-free beacons... Beacons sold in this store have been cleared of their harmful effects through a complex purification process. Ah, but uh, what is this purification process? Is that that friendly to the environment, I'm wondering? <laughs> These are safe to use for an indefinite amount of time in any circumstances. The zombie enclosed here has been exposed to our purified beacon's effect for over several weeks. Not only are they not exhibiting any extra aggression, they are also less interested in chasing after you or dealing any damage. Oh, really? Okay. The pacified. P yeah, pacified by a villager, I hear down there. Alright. We're scamming over here now. Okay. Okay. Oh, I see what happened here. They went ahead and blocked my beam there we go perfect yeah because I went down below just now and the redstone was frozen so I assumed that no one had tampered with the redstone but then I tried to change the uh, I fixed the redstone got the clock going again and then this still wasn't powering so I did switch the effect and now there is a mining effect, but it still wasn't going, and I didn't think about it. But, yeah, I looked inside and saw that it was being blocked. So that is fixed. 
And it looks like we have ourselves some competition. I just want to take a peek in here. I hope they don't... hope nothing gets out. You know what? I don't want to mess with it. Uh, well, it's an adult villager. We do know there is a villager down there for sure, though. That is pacifying, quote-unquote, this zombie from attacking us. So, yeah, we we got a we got a nice little scam going on right here. And if anyone knows who this belongs to, let me know down in the comments. Because, yeah, we can't we can't have scammers here on Truly Bedrock buying out beacons and trying to double the price and then claiming that they're radiation free because uh, clearly, yeah, clearly there is a zombie. Wow! Oh, ooh, look, he attacked me. There you go. That is evidence right there. That zombie just attacked me. These are not these are not as safe as they claim to be. So, yep, there we go. Scam. I'm calling in a scam. For today's project, we are going to be in Chunk Town, and this place has been built up quite a bit. It's looking it's looking really amazing here. Now for today's project, what I want to do is, because this is a nice little town that we have going here, I want to add some services. And one of those services any town is going to need is a postal system or a post office. So that is what we're going to build in today's episode. And of course, we are going to keep it to one chunk. Now, I was looking for a decent place to build this because everything is pretty heavily built over in that center area. And I was trying to find a nice area. I think this is Tiz's slime farm down below. So it's kind of dangerous to build over here. And there was some open space over here, but everything is kind of, you know, off to the side. There's a little garden horse statue thing there. So location was a very hard thing to find for this build. But what I finally decided to do was build next to Tiz's, uh, the little Kill Tiz bet shop building, or whatever that is. I know inside, I haven't actually placed a bet on this. I've been meaning to get in on this. But this is where we go to make bets and try to determine and also set up when Tiz will finally have his first death. But with that aside, I am going to build the post office right next to to this first things first we need to build the frame and what I'm gonna do is build out of smooth stone and I also want to build out of bricks because well smooth stone and bricks is just a really nice color palette to use so if I remember correctly this is gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine up and then we're just gonna follow this little shape here now, I did have some trouble designing this building because I tried to, well, give the building some depth. And I also, I also wanted to be able to fit all of the mailboxes inside because if I remember correctly, we have about, I think it's 19 members on this server. So there's 19 of us, which means in a... 16 by 16 area or one chunk I need to be able to fit 19 mailboxes but at the same time be able to decorate so that was a huge challenge but I think I have an idea that's gonna work now some of you may be thinking it should be pretty easy to place 19 mailboxes within a 16 by 16 area right and yeah you would be correct even if we just did it like this how I have set one two three four five one two three four five is ten and then five above each side to make it a total of 20 just for uniformity yeah it would be pretty easy but I also want to add some redstone and to do that I do need two block gap behind each box of course this is going to be the wall and like I said the other challenge was trying to make sure everything fit so as far as depth for the outside of the building is concerned, you can imagine this building would be pretty flat on the walls if I were just to put up my walls, you know, along the chunk border here. Or I could bring it in like this, but then all of this would feel kind of crammed. So with that, my solution is we are going to build the wall on the chunk border, but we are going to do something a little bit different because with the new update we are able to 
pick our bricks here. We're going to turn these into walls. We are able to make brick walls. Well, I mean, we could we could definitely make brick walls before, but with the way we can place them, it's just a lot nicer to do it. So if we do this, and it just gets rid of all of the, you know, when it's all stuck up like that, you can see it as it connects. So like that, it connects to each other, and it makes for a nice and smooth wall. So let's go ahead and finish this. It's not going to look like this exactly because I am going to have some windows. But you can see what I'm talking about. Let's put another row there and see how it makes a nice and smooth wall like this. And then it does give us a little bit of depth. But we're still on the same block, which I think is really cool. Now, of course, we can just place smooth stone down below to make that look all uniformed because we do have this block exposed. So that is the idea that gives us some depth, and that is how we are gonna do the outside of the building. Now, there are a couple areas where it is going to connect. So I'm gonna have a wall like right here. So you can see where that's gonna connect, and then if we take a look on the outside, we are gonna have a little bit of it sticking out, which isn't too big of a deal to me personally, but that is, the only downside to making the whole wall out of walls. Just finishing up this last portion of the wall here and we'll take a look. And I didn't think about this last part here. I wonder if I can just stand off to the, that works. And boom, there we go. The inside, well, this is the inside. The outside is done. The shell, so there we go. Yeah, that is, I really like the way that looks. Again, it does give this a nice depth to it without actually having to go in by one block because usually for those who, well, I guess Minecraft builds in general, if you wanted any sort of depth, you would have to actually bring the brick wall onto this block here. But because of the new mechanics with the walls, we can do this. And that is, that is looking pretty awesome. I'm really happy with the way that turned out. The inside is pretty much done for the most part. I have the mailboxes in place, I have the structure around it, and I also have the roof in. Now there is one more little detail that I want to add, and that's right above there, because there is a gap. So what I wanna do is continue what we were doing with this here, and just add these along like that. And I didn't think about how I was going to get around here, but we can just go ahead and do this. There we go. We have ourselves a little walkway to get around now, and then we're going to place the rest of these in. Looks like I made one additional that I didn't need, but that's, that's totally fine. Let's go ahead and break this down and take a look See how it is down below and yeah I do I do like that just taking a peek at it already yeah I really like the way you can't really tell that it has depth oh I guess if you stand from here you can see that it's a small little detail but I mean it's kind of the small details that make the difference in your builds and with that I really love really love the way this turned out now the redstone for this build is gonna be very, very simple. All we're gonna do is place a block here. Our comparator is gonna go on top of that. That's going to run into this block and then this is gonna power this bit of redstone there. And that is all of the redstone for this. So once we have an item inside, so let's go ahead and do that. So if the member gets mail, and we'll just go ahead and bust through here. So their box is going to light up. And then of course, once we take the item out, it's going to shut off and the mail has been collected. And then once we have all of the redstone set up, I'm gonna go ahead and place signs on each one of these chests so the members know which mailbox is theirs. The redstone is all finished. The mailboxes are all set up and ready to go to receive letters and to notify each member when they have a piece of mail. 
And if we head inside, I went ahead and set up all of the members' mailboxes. So I put a sign on each one for each member that we have. Again, we do have 19, giving us one additional one down here. Now, I thought it would make sense to go alphabetical, although I think, yeah, BJ and Blue J need to be flipped around because J definitely comes before L, so I'll fix that later. But going back to alphabetical order, I thought it would make sense to go this way, kind of like a book, and then to start down here or to continue down this way in alphabetical order. And then finally we would jump to up here, continue it, going there, and of course, just like the other side, having it go down below. So that makes the most sense to me. And as far as decorating, I might have to switch these blocks up because it is the same as the floor. This was a temporary placement holder for what I wanted to have because it was pretty empty in the middle and I just wanted to have some sort of decoration inside. I placed in a little bit more lighting and with that, this post office is finished. Just in case anyone was wondering what this building is from a distance, I thought it would be best to label it. So I just kept it simple. We just called it mail because, yeah, that's, that's pretty self-explanatory what it is. And I know after a certain distance, the banners, like, disappear. I don't know how far, though. But anywho, it is labeled. Everyone knows that this is now where we have mail. This is the post office. And as the sun sets, thus brings the close to today's episode. And I totally didn't plan that. That just happened to work out that way. So we got the mailbox. We got the mail. Man, I never, I never have to call it anything. I never call it the post office. I always go to my mailbox. So naturally, I want to call it heard a phantom i want to call it you know i don't call it the post office i just you know i just walked to my mailbox so i really don't use post office in my daily vocabulary so we got the post office done long story short so with that being said everyone this is going to be the end of today's episode i really hope you guys enjoy oh look silence in the background i really hope you guys enjoyed this has been rogue fox and i will see you later <laughs>